We are back on Inside Politics. Our guest today is Nashville Mayor John Cooper. We're talking about the city's response, ongoing response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, Mayor, to go back to talking about enforcement, that we're in a situation where there's so many conflicting messages going on about wearing masks. One of them seems to be coming from the fraternal order of police. They say it's unacceptable that they're being asked to go out and enforce this <laughs> mandate. Uh, do you think what the FOP leadership is saying represents the way the rank and file members of the police department feel about the mask order? No. Um, I mean, I get that it's um, a pain and they've got a lot of other important responsibilities too. But our officers are patriots and they also understand that at no point in their life will they be enforcing a Class C misdemeanor that will save more lives, save more jobs, have a bigger effect on the economy. I mean, it's, uh, it's only a Class C misdemeanor. It's the equivalent of not walking on the sidewalk where you should be. But the reality is getting us to 80% compliance. Most people believe will allow us to one day reopen schools, to have businesses reopen, to have life get back to normal and save lives. I mean, at the bottom of this, there are many lives at stake. I mean, 10% of the people over the age of 65 who get this die. And the people who have it, the ICU nurses will tell you it's the worst experience that they ever see in the ICU. So having our valuable patriotic police force help remind people to do what everybody knows they should be doing is just one of the necessities of the pandemic. But I, I get it that it's not anybody's first choice. We shouldn't have to be reminding people to do the right thing to keep each other safe. Um, but the, they will, the chief, um, I think, is a great ex example of showing people how to do this and de-escalate. Uh, I mean, both the right and the left have voices that do want to divide us and want to pick at masks and the disease is another opportunity for America to be divided. Well, we, we're not going to fall for that here. We're going to be united together and we're going to get something done that will save lives and get us back to work. Mayor, in the meantime, we're here in Nashville, we're stuck in a sort of a, a reconfigured phase two. You're continuing to keep mm. the bars closed and it looks like we're going to be in phase two for the foreseeable future, as you've said. Does that go into August? And that, if that's the case, uh, you've also indicated that construction sites are a problem, but you're not shutting down right. transportation, transportainment. Why, why that doesn't seem to be completely consistent and what's the problem with well, construction sites? Um, I think there'll be an announcement from our office maybe later today about that. Transportainment fundamentally is um, state regulated, so we need the state's help in regulating that. Um, pedal taverns that are non in compliance will also be closed. It's just, it's a kind of a bureaucratic detail as to how you regulate those industries. But ultimately, contact tracing does show sharing your air. Um, has led to a big increase in cases. And so we have to avoid close contact settings uh, where people, the loud voices, the, this is airborne. And so bars late at night where people are crowded together, shouting at each other are understandably a big source of concern. And the contact tracing has revealed that. now. There are many, many, many responsible operators that have done a good job in not having the outbreak there. And it is a pity that they have to be lumped in with the category, but they do. You know, I, I can't go and say you are going to do it well and you aren't. I have to address what we have found from the category. Now, it is not just us. It is many, many other states and cities have felt that this is absolutely imperative in slowing down the case load. And that's just what we have to do if we want to get back to normal here. Mayor, on the good side, it appears that at least unemployment in Tennessee has gone down to single digits. It's slightly below 10% now. Where is it in Nashville? Is unemployment getting better here? Well, we had hoped that it was. I'm holding my breath, frankly, uh, over uh, where it is with this most recent outbreak and the degree that small businesses do feel that the environment for them is getting even tougher. And then part of the reason that we have pushed so to try to get things reopened, part of the reasons that we are pushing 
on things like mask mandates is that benefits are going to be wearing down. And we're having, I mean, very fortunately, NES is extending the, the amount of time grace period uh, on paying bills for another couple of months. But sooner or later, people have jobs, lives, and bills that have to be paid, and we need to get the economy back by then. And we have to, if enforcing masks is the path to doing that, then we're going to enforce masks. Because uh, we need to get people back to work. Some council members are already talking about the fact that un that uh, sales tax collections for June for Nashville were up $67 million over what they expected it to be. They think that along with the possibility, although may, may be slight, that the federal government will bring more local do more dollars here that can be spent to help the city with its budgeting. They want to, there's a resolution before the council next Tuesday night that wants your finance department to bring in a revised tax levy bill that would lower the tax rate, the property tax increase, the 34% tax increase that went in just this month, which was passed last month. Are you ready to support right. something like that or is it too early? Well, I, I mean, uh, um, fantastic. I love it. I, I want to, you know, I also want our caseload to go down to 10 a day. Um, one educates the other. We are a long way from being out of this. And even though the, the June may be better than we had feared, that doesn't mean that the overall economic recovery necessarily is, particularly if we end up having a big second spike. And that, and that this spike continues for a long period of time. I mean, we have 5,000 active cases. We have many thousand others who are asymptomatic. We have to isolate those folks and keep them from spreading the disease. That's the work at Nashville at hand. If we are able to do that, then our economic forecast will get better. And we can do marvelous things back for our taxpayers and our citizens. But if we don't do that, then all bets are off and we're not going to be able to get back to normal sooner and be able to share a happy economic forecast with our citizens. Mary John Cooper is our guest on Inside Politics. We'll continue our contesting with him on the other side of these messages.